Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. I got Wasubi with me today. What's up, Wasubi? Uh, hi guys. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm always down for some more uh, of Mr. Wholesome, right? Uh, very, very fun leader. Yeah, he got he got changed. A couple things got changed from the uh, list from the original snapshot. Um, Kalkstein came out, and we added in a second eavesdrop and added tunnel drill. Correct. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it works out I a mean, lot better, I think. Yeah, I think the current way the deck is built, it it's probably like the strongest deck in the meta right now. It can deal with Skelligay and you know, thanks to the control horse on office, he just you know he has better matchups overall against Skyrotel as well. Yeah. And yeah, I mean obviously Gudrun Gudrun has trouble uh, because she plays into toll removal, right? Right. She always has the, the huge bin seed, the huge jackal. So if people so let's say like you're playing Gudrun, you queue into Harold, round three, you have a you have a huge bin seed, you have a huge jackal, one of them gets Geralted, the other one gets Ulfed, and you're just gonna lose the game. So Horson, you know, is more of a you can dodge toll removal, you can you can remove stuff, you can remove engines like a priest, etc. So overall uh, a stronger leader right now, I would say. Yeah, and on uh, on red coin, he's just a monster. I just it, oh yeah, it, it, yeah it's just yeah. hard to get something to stick when you have him on red coin. I don't think we had red coin on any of these games, but mm -hmm. <laughs> so but if you have it, I mean, there's so much you got things that especially against like Skellige, you know, you got they play those boats right off the bat. You just put bounty on them and they just <laughs> do the work for you. It's there's such a liability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's so bad. The boats, the boats are a liability. Sure. Yeah. yeah, but um, going through the cards here, um, you know we got renew. There's a million renew targets in here. You got Philippa. You got a brother. You got Morelsi's. You got Ziggy. They're just it's just so good. Um, mm -hmm. The the golds are so strong that you know you don't even feel bad for paying 13 to bring it back. Because I mean I think we had a 17 point Philippa that we played. Right, yeah, I it's mean like, it 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 can be a huge thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, I think uh, especially Horson, he wants to play the Renew for sure, as well as Decree, because like Gudrun and King of Beggars give you direct access to coins uh, with their leader ability, but Horson doesn't really, right? Unless you would like kill a two and get five coins, which is bad. You want to kill a high power unit to get the bounty value. So, uh, yeah, you pretty much just have to play the Decree Siggy Renew package, but it's not bad at all, right? It's just really strong cards. No, it, so, puts, it just renews your clip of bullets, man. It's just huge. Pretty much, yeah. It's just, I love it. I mean, you, you would look at this and you would think that, like, you know, Renew Royal Decree would just seem like not good, <laughs> but it mm -hmm. just, it works out so well in this list. Yeah, I mean, when you have gold cards this good, then uh, you're happy to pay uh, the price for the tutors and for the renew, so... Absolutely. Um, Philippa, uh, the auto-include for Syndicate, along with Morelsi's, these two cards, they're just... They're insane. I mean, the brother... I mean, honestly, this whole, like, little grouping right here, maybe except for Graydon, is just... It's just auto include. I mean, you got yeah. Morelsi's super good. You know, destroying an enemy. Graydon. I mean, he's good with your leader and uh, or not with your leader, but the bounty. You know, you got you got Caleb. You got the witch hunters, and then you got one slander. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, and I mean, uh, there's a couple of changes you could make, right? If like if you feel like you don't have enough of the bounty, you can replace Swindle for another Slander. Like lots of changes you can make with the fives and the fours, right? Like it's not completely figured out yet. You can turn around with those. Yeah. But depends yeah, on like, how, how, it, how well you draw. If, you, if your drawing much, skills aren't yeah. that good, you know, maybe you, maybe you do some adjustments. But um, mm -hmm. I mean. Uh, it's safe to say that Boris is an auto include as well. After free got nerfed, Boris is like the only good cutups unit left. So, yeah, 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 to get your to get your nine. This does play nine, by the way. So, <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, uh, Caleb, just uh, if you're playing horse and you're playing Caleb, because it's almost an instant. If they drop a seven and you got Caleb in hand, you're getting those coins right off the bat. It's just massive. 
Mm -hmm. um, plus two, he gets the profit three, um, so he pays the bounty instantly. It's just, and I mean, he's five strength too, so it's it's all around just good. Um, the brothers, they're just once again just too good. They they got profit two on them, um, or possibly you know profit four, right? If one of them's in the graveyard. Yeah. Carry over uh, as well in there. Yeah. yeah, so dropping an eight that can play for eight instantly and be a constant threat on the board is just massive. Mm -hmm. uh, Boris, as we mentioned, the death blow is usually easily achieved with, you know, what you got going on with, you know, executioners and, you know, your Bersodi brothers and everything else. So you should have no problem hitting that um, death blow. Uh, tunnel drill, it's... It's a good card. I mean, it's going to play for six, but if you are able to kill one of their um, artifacts, they're just they're screwed. Especially if they're playing circle. Pretty much, yeah. It's just like the circle heat. That's what it's there for. I, I I just think there's more than enough art list uh, lists around right now to justify this. But if if you want to be like super super mega greedy, you can cut these two cards next to each other, Boris and Drill. And then you can add in a Kata Blacky at four provisions as a Kata unit, and you can play the Flying Rodanian as a, as a 10. So. Sword of Sword. Yeah, pretty much. Like, there's a couple of changes you could make, but I, I just think Drill, especially when you have Decree, you queue into that Arrakis or whatever, you know, someone who's playing Circle, you're just going to destroy them, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm with it. I like the Drill as well. It, uh, it's... It's just a it's just a nice insurance policy for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, eavesdrop. If you uh, you can message with Subi on Discord and he will let you pick this card and then he will instantly call out the fire disciple to put on the bottom of your deck. <laughs> uh, his uh, Discord will be in the comments. Oh <laughs> no! <I'm> just, that's <laughs> what you, no, he he called out a couple times the the fire disciple and we buried it, which is pretty awesome but it, yeah the, that's the dream right i mean <laughs> yeah it just it works I'm out the, so well but. i i am the seer sir i i can see i can see the cards all Absolutely. the cards he he knows what's I mean, behind this door already oh man give me that premium already i want to <laughs> see it but yeah like again uh, just a really nice way of uh generating coins thinning putting the, your worst card in your hand at the bottom of the deck so you will never see it again but I mean, yeah, like one of those eavesdrops could be like a blacksmith so that you have another spender. But I, I just think it's uh, it's it's good the way it is. Yeah, to, to be able to fish, if it pulled just a bronze, it probably wouldn't be as good. But the fact that you can pull a gold card and bury your worst card is just yeah you know, too good. Um, blacksmith, really nice, especially if you're going up against like Croc or something like that. It uh, It's going to get rid of those bloodthirsts. Uh, executioners, they're your, you know, another another spender, and they, you know, just synergize with the hunters and slander. You just, yeah, you put something with bounty on it, and then you drop these the next turn, and they usually can kill it and uh, get the coins right back. Man, I, I don't know, like the the numbers on the executioners don't that up, right? No, like they play as a five for a five, and then they can spend coins on their own with bleed which like sets up stuff like Boris, etc right and then if you get the bounty train rolling it's just i don't know man this is like the best card in the game probably yeah they're just little <laughs> machine crazy. they're little machine guns man for five provisions like what yeah it's crazy yeah this and the, i just i'm just get ready though there's gonna be a card like this in northern realms and it's yeah it's gonna be uh brutal it's coming man. might happen guys might happen for sure um, sewer Raider is just a nice thinning option, uh, especially too when you have um, something like eavesdrop. You know, you uh, it, it just if you do draw two of them, you can just rebury it, and then you get to pay the, mm -hmm, the horde. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it, it just they just all around work well, especially with the, the eavesdrops. Yeah, uh, slander goes well with your leader if you think you can, you know, profit three and then just pop something for, you know, five or something like that. It, It'll work out pretty well. Yeah. Well, six. Six will work. That's That gives you nine. Oh, you get the extra coins after that, so... Mm -hmm. You know, spend accordingly. One thing you gotta, like, with Syndicate is you gotta figure out, okay, well, if I play this, I'm gonna get this amount of coins, so if I got a spender on the board, I gotta 
do this first. So you know, you j you always got to be three moves ahead. Pretty much, like that's the that's the misconception, right? That the uh, syndicate is just OP. Yeah. But if if you actually like try the faction, you will see that it's very very difficult to you know maximize your points. Yeah. It, it, it you you really do have to think way ahead and. Um, right. Yeah. Um, swindle just a nice uh, non you know. Pro or it's a proactive play. You know, you just play it. Your opponent, if, especially if you're on blue coin, you just play it, and they can't do anything to your units yet. You almost flip it around right. so you can start doing your damage that you need to. Yeah, and I mean, again, it could be a second copy of Slender, right? It, it just depends, like what you run into mostly, because yeah, yeah, it's really you nice. Can't really, it's really nice yeah, yeah. how they have these, you know, like Slanders and eavesdrops and like dip in the pond tar, like they. There's there's spells that they're like so interchangeable. It just feels really mm -hmm. good. Like it it doesn't feel like oh I can't play this in you know a a good run list or something like that. You know what I mean they all just kind of like work in their you know respective leaders no matter what. I re I, I think they're Pretty just cool. really great how they design these cards. Yeah, you can just uh, add up your deck so easily with those, right? Like if if you're seeing like okay, all I'm running into players like Skellige players with Olaf you can be like okay I replace Swindle with a Slender because they really want bounty and you know if if you're running into other decks that play white rather than tall you're playing the Swindle you know just to get more points and yeah it's, it's it's very nice versatile yeah uh two witch hunters are your bounty grabbers uh, if you're always if you're playing horse and you're gonna play witch hunters I think pretty much every list though as long as you got a decent amount of damage with Syndicate, you're going to play at least one Witch Hunter because they just <laughs> yeah, get their yeah. they just get their points back. You know, it's just Bounty is Bounty is great. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, Sea Jackal, really nice spender. Um, you got stuff, you know, that it, it helps you too with the horde thing where you can you know spend your coins and get a little bit more out of it since you can boost two. Right. And then uh, your disciple just in mostly for the. Uh, Siggy Reuven, uh, to get that nine, but you really want this on the bottom of the deck. If you can eavesdrop this, it uh, <laughs> it feels really, really good knowing that you got uh, 24 cards in your deck and your worst ones at the bottom. You know? Pretty much, yeah, that's the dream. Eavesdrop on the Disciple in round one. Yeah. Easy game. But uh, here's a couple games, guys. We'll see at the end. Thank you. And drill is just insane, right? If you if you get to destroy an artifact, the game is over, basically. Yeah, especially circle. Yeah. Otherwise, it's like a six for six. It's not terrible. Ooh, King Brand. Okay. <laughs> this guy is a uh, is a connoisseur. He's still with the with the brand. He likes that thinning. He, he likes that. Oh thin. yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy shit! We got mm. every crime in the in the deck. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> so we drop one jackal. I think I think we wanna. Oh, okay, never mind. Uh, we probably just eavesdrop the slender, or do we mulligan the slender? We could mulligan the slender. All right, and now the raider, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. So uh, just do the eavesdrop, right? And then next turn we can play the raiders. Yeah, it's all right. We're alone here. And we put that on the bottom. Oh my god, that's so insanely good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it, man. Gain gain four coins and, and burn your worst card, basically. Yeah. Imagine drawing this card in round two, you would be like super it's super Operator super bear, so it's his bear friend. It's a bear friend, yeah. It's a bear friend. Okay. Uh, well, we can just play the raiders, right? Get some thinning. Seems great. These are drowning in shite, but the head's in the clouds. And we're out. We're on TA, right? Ah. Uh, so do we... Oh, what do we even bounty here? I guess the operator. Yeah, makes sense, I suppose. Holy oh my shit. god! <laughs> it's straight up bears, man. Just actual starter deck card. That's uh, that's ridiculous. It's a bear, man. This is a bear list. <laughs> okay. So we're just playing oh. Witch Hunter. 
The issue is you're at four coins. Uh, so I think first you just Boris, uh, kill the roach. Yeah, seems alright. He might play a four. Um, which then allows us to play a C Jekyll and a charge. So that's good. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, I guess that's what we just do next, right? C Jekyll is a seven, that's pretty strong. Okay, so that's our TA. Nice. Hey, listen here. Listen well. Smart bark. All right, easy TA, huh? So we're just going jackal. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I think we jackal and we utilize the horde twice, right? Oh uh, no, no, no! You just use one charge and TA the one. Mm, yes, correct. Because you want. You want to have uh, coins, right? You want to... <sighs> I guess we could even consider... I mean, Philippa is nice to like deny a beast. But then you don't really have coins for the bounty this turn. Right. I mean, this round rather, but... Oof. Okay. So, so just... if we Philippa, if we Philippa, she plays for 13, right? Mm -hmm. So we go to 28, he only needs an 8, but how is he going to make an 8 at this stage of the game? Yeah, he already used his... He would have Oof to... And stuff, and Holy he needs like a Birna into, Birna into Morkvarg, right? Yeah. Okay, I think we take the fill, like... If we steal a bear, we deny carryover, so... Thank you, Yoink, the Elder Bear, the starter card. That's what we want. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Holy okay. shit! So he needs 8 points, which it's is exactly too, what huh? <laughs> That thing is huge! Run! <laughs> okay, 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 great. We got the pass. Okay, perfect. So we're out. And he used a... I mean, he's gonna... Res that, but mm -hmm. it's like the Freya shenanigans, right? Even decoy, possibly. He didn't, didn't get, get the carryover. The... He didn't get the carryover. <laughs> never. Those issues of Blaviken, I love it. No, never. Never RNG it. Uh, oh, we got renew. Um, That's good. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we ditch the executioner. Yeah. That's correct. Nice. So this is the this is the problem, right? Since we use decree on the Philippa, we risked uh, not finding DJ, but there he is. Do we drop the tunnel drill? I think that's our dry pass play, possibly. So we I just mean, leave it here, huh? Yeah, I like it. His hand is pretty good. I think he's gonna bleed he us. Might. Yeah, I mean that's suicidal though. He's gonna do it, man. He's got to get that thinning. Okay. So we just DJ? Yeah, we just DJ, and if he decides to pass, we play the drill. Well, we're ahead. Oh, this one doesn't have... Yeah, it has Flying Redanian in it, doesn't it? No, huh? No, 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 no. No. Yeah, it doesn't. Or is there a world where we want to stay up? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, we win the long round with Bounty, right? Uh, so... My lads will make sure of that. And I bet that this lot is gonna keep going because he's he's crazy, right? Well, he didn't use his leader. If he was gonna if he was gonna pass on turn one, he would have used his leader. You would think, unless his hand uh, is just that good. Yeah. So we just played the drill. That's a, uh huh. That's an interesting play, actually. Yeah. As as you were saying, he was supposed to lead their previous turn. Yeah. Okay, there we go. So we got out. We carry over our coins. Which so we got really four, good. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it rounds down, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we got four coins, uh, which is pretty decent. There's the Jacalio and the Caleb. Okay. Get this to Slender, indeed. There's some. Eh, I mean, 
The, the disciple is at the bottom, right? So we're not getting that. Uh, that's good. That's really good. I think we just keep. It's probably fine. Where are we gaining our coins from? Just our leader? Uh, we can renew Siggy, right? Renew Siggy. If we need uh, to. Uh, yeah, we can keep. It's fine. Because you want to open with the blacksmith, I think. And he plays a bear and kills it. Oh. Yeah. That's right. We could play mm. the Caleb. I don't know. That seems super risky, though. Yeah, and we can't play the Executioner. I mean, we can drop Jackal, I guess. But, yeah, let's do that. It's better if he kills the Jackal than if he kills the... Oh. Blacksmith, I guess. He already played Ulf, though, but yeah. Yeah, he's got a. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There's the there's the kill, which is fine, honestly. Uh... Now we can play the blacksmith, I suppose. So uh... yeah. Ten percent for peace of mind. Is he is he able to do three somehow without leader? Like he can kill it somehow, most likely. Yalmar, right? <laughs> yeah, doesn't really make sense in a beast deck, right? You don't want to banish your graveyard. Oh, okay. Sure. We're okay with that, right? Mm-hmm. So we can just play uh the better brother, right? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we can use them to boost each other, basically. Between okay, so we're going... Are we using all our coins, or...? Uh, yeah, because we want to renew Siggy, so I think we boost that to 6. Uh, and then boost the brother to a 7. Yeah, seems fine. Oh man, they haven't fixed this clicking yet, it's so annoying. Yeah. Should be like uh, orders, right? We'll defend our homes, what? Okay. No matter what. Uh, okay. <laughs> so he has horn. No, no, no. So I think what this is supposed to do is he wants to play four of the cows, then he uses equinox to remove the doomed. So he has like four extra beasts in grave. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Uh. So we can just Caleb, right? Or do we... Because if we DJ first, then we're wasting coins. So we Caleb? Sure. Yep. And on the floor, Place right? Mm-hmm. Freaks are welcome here. <laughs> Not welcome here, sir. All right. Now, even if he deals with Caleb, we still have uh, Witch Hunter for Graydon, right? Right. So we're fine, we're fine. Freya Scald, okay. Don't you pass So that's Morkmar. No. Apparently not. So we just Executioner the four? Oh, we can't. Mm hmm. We cannot, but uh, you can play the Executioner now. That's fine. He's only profit two, though. Yep. I mean, oh, there it is. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like we could have just used leader to kill the four, right? Good game. All right. Let's try another one. That was a really weird deck. Yeah. All right. One more try. Ooh. Got the Francesca. Okay. So this matchup is kind of unfair because we can just machine gun all of her dreads. <laughs> right. Uh, so we drop the mm, slander first. Well, we have no other way of applying bounty. Probably drop the swindle actually, yeah. Oh, there's your way, so we can drop the slander now. Yep. Perfect. I think we, we can keep this. Yeah, yeah. It we just, had, we had a witch hunter, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can open eavesdrop, and if we draw a great card, we can put the witch hunter on the bottom. 
It's alright, we're alone. Uh, okay, us. so I think it's slender, right? Yeah. We didn't right. draw the the raiders either. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's okay. I was hoping you'd say. Okay. Huh? Hmm. Elves Francesca. Long time no see, sir. Long time no see. So bounty is atrocious against this, right? Because they are one base. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. It's okay. Bad. Is there a way for us to get some coins? And, um. And uh, possibly. Yeah, we don't really have a way. Up. He would need to play something. Oh boy! Wow. Okay. We could just play a naked brother, I guess. That's our best play. <laughs> Horse in the back, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man, this is tragic. I don't think he TA it. No? Yay! It dies though, what's it called? If he plays Melane, we can at least bounty. I think you just keep it, yeah. Because if he kills the horse, at least your evolt gets better, like, muzzle. Wow. <laughs> okay. But hey, we got our bounties, so that's good. So we just Witch Hunter the four? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can play back row to... Well, yeah, sure. I, I I guess he doesn't have dwarves, right? If he's playing a Vanguard deck. Chaos. Oh, you gotta Ooh. get them four, four provisions Death somewhere. Oh my god. Uh, so we just right. Witch Hunter. Right, yeah, yeah. Or Executioner, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just uh, machine gun it. And... Do we bleed? You can apply one, one bleed to the six. Yeah. And then I guess we TA the boy? I don't know. It plays around Cleaver if he's playing Cleaver. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can we can tear the boy now. Like, <laughs> if he if he's actually playing Geralt in an elf deck, then like sure, take the win, sir. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, the question is, do we yoink? if we're taking the round with Philippa or if we just play like a jackal? It's kind of weird, right? Oh, okay. We just kill that with a bear, right? Mm-hmm, but you want to apply a bleed first to the five? I would apply it to the five, yeah. Then you can play the bear. And then you can apply two more bleeds, right? So I guess... One and the other one to the seven, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, seems fine. Now, 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 maybe, maybe he plays something we can actually bounty, sir. <laughs> right? <laughs> you never. Oh! Weapons well. laugh to scorn. Is that our pass? Kind of scared of a long run, if I'm being honest. So we just morale see this? Mm, what about Brother. using one more bleed on the six? Then you can kill up the three and kill it. Caleb. Mm-hmm. Freaks aren't welcome here. Yeah, swordmasters not welcome here. No. <laughs> and we can even go like two more bleeds if we're looking to pass. Yeah, one on each, and then we can potentially pass, right? Investor! There it is. We... There it is, lads. Making okay. that money. You had enough. You had enough. So he does have Fran on the muzzle. Correct. How Which is he... kind of scary. Kind of scary. I mean, this hand. Woof! Yikes! This hand is insane. Yeah, there's nothing really right. we could get that's. I mean, there's still other good cards in the deck, but there's some bad okay, ones too. Okay. Um. We really need the. The combo of the Witch Hunter and the Executioner. So I think we're dropping Jackal. It feels bad, but we have to. And uh, drop the Smith. We're looking for... 
Oh god. We didn't get the raiders. Mm. Do we look for him? But we need this combo. Eavesdrop is bad now, yeah. But I think we do it still. It's fine. I think you just eavesdrop and see what you get. Remember, this will be on the seat. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so now you have to drop the hunter, right? Yeah, it's okay. Hey, worst case scenario, we can like decree DJ round three and then renew the Caleb or something. Yeah, 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 it's fine, it's fine. So ideally he plays something that's a huge engine, and we just yoink it. Right. Peace with humans. <laughs> <laughs> Not that huge, huh? No, that's... We can go, we can go riders though, yeah. That's pretty great. All these elves. Mm-hmm. Now he has to play something, right? He can't just, like... Go slow. I mean, he can go slow, I guess. But... Alright, that's a 7. If we pay the tribute, it plays as a 11. And we're at... Yeah, seems fine, right? So we're Morelsi. Yeah, I think, I think we do. You think he has Lacerate? I should play around it, huh? I mean... They always have it only lacerate. puts us to a 10, so he needs like a 7. Oh, I don't know. Oh, if we only had the Witch Hunter, yeah. Because then we get the bounty, we get back 4. Mm. So I think you played the Witch Hunter. I think you played the Executioner, right? That's much better. And just play the Executioner, it. we go to 8, and you can bleed either once. Evil's not going and the next turn we try to yoink the seven, right? That's a pretty can big swing. The seven. Yeah. So he's gonna play. Uh... What does three damage? Something like a panther. Yeah, that's that's a waste. That's good. So now we fill up. There. So a yoink is seventeen points. Hmm. This is to 23, he needs like a 10. Yeah, I like it. Sure. I like it, I like it. It's you mine now. To live. Yeah, I think here we get a pass. Because he doesn't have a muzzle, right? He doesn't have a muzzle. Uh, so even if he wants to lead there, I don't think he gets the card. So what does he need? He needs 10. Oh, uh, yeah. Which is hard, right? Oh my god. There it is. What? I told Leader you they muzzle? had Lacerate. I told you. Alright, <laughs> right. so it just pass, right? He could have used Leader Muzzle to get ahead, but he chose not to. He values the... Onward, the oh, it's because his hand is garbage. Okay, I get it. He would rather get out of the round right now. Right. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. Wow. Okay, so what's the decree even doing? Like, uh, it's Raiden. Raiden. Oh man, I wish you could decree renew. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so we get rid of the right. swindle, right? Yeah, yeah, under, yeah, yeah. And the blacksmith. Blacksmith's good, to be honest. Maybe Jekyll. You got it anyway. <laughs> okay. Let's... Well. There you go, I told you man. I, I knew it, I knew it. All along it's this bullshit. <laughs> I mean okay, sure, that doesn't really do anything though. So we just ziggy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, but uh Evil has to go front row. We don't wanna play well he used Lacerator already, so or is Well he might have one in hand, but I think you can go front row, Siggy. Yeah, I think you do. It's fine. Hey, how is he gonna win though? Like, he wasted the leader on. And he nothing. wasted his movement too. Right. He... I'll get it soon. Okay. So we can go Ser Jacalio. 
and we can use two charges confidently, I think. Just take the whole finger. Yeah. Because, I mean, how do you fit Geralt into a muzzle Ragnarok deck? You just don't, right? No. <laughs> he's gonna play... Watch him have it. He's gonna ha Watch he's... him have Curse of Corruption. Okay, so next... So we can do Evaldovsky, Senor Evaldo, and just kill the. This allows us to use another charge with the Sea Jackal. So we Sea Jackal we first. Exactly, yeah, because we're at seven, and then you kill the elf. Yep. Three coins unspent, but that's cool. I just don't think he will have units to win the game with, other than the Milva. Like, Milva's not... He needs stall removal, right? He needs stall removal here. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> so we kill another elf, right? We just keep killing elves? Like, I don't know. So we kill the elf? Do we lead her, right? right? Or we just wait for a better target? I mean, we don't have a target for a leader, right? Uh, you don't want a leader at two and get five coins. Like, what do you do with five coins? Like, it's kind of... The blacksmith can play him. Yeah, we can always do it later, though. Yeah. I think... Yeah, I think you just kill it. And then... Um... Play the blacksmith. Mm-hmm. Play the blacksmith and maybe boost the Evolt ones. And just leave it there, it's fine. Yeah. What's our <sighs> royal decree? Yeah, the set is decree ever, right? I think we're I still mean. okay. Of course, yeah. Like, when you're in a game where your decree has a bad pull, you're pretty much winning, right? <laughs> yeah, you would hope. I mean, you would hope. I think the only way he wins is um, Lacerate and the Dragon. I shall not fail! Right. So we just... Morel sees this, leader this, think and you just can use all our... one of those. You just leader one of those, and then you use your blacksmith to win the game. Yeah. We play around here, around Iggy. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, can we pull any coin generator? We can pull, like, a disciple, right? The prophet, too. We can play a sure. sea jackal. Yeah, I think you pull the disciple. Right because, now. Because yeah, yeah. You you pull the disciple. Play it back row, I guess, in case he has less rate. Then you can use a jackal charge as well. Yeah, yeah, go 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 go. We have to play. Yeah, jackal charge, right? Oh no no no. Okay, fine. Whatever. It's okay. Oh boy. Kill the elf with the evil. Kill the elf. Kill the elf. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Calculated! Woo. We made it, we made it. <laughs> so we played around Scorch. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't think he has anything. Yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> Close though. Close. Man, they really need to remake those order charges. Yeah, to where you unclick them. Yeah. Alright. Well, that's, uh, that's the video for today, guys. I just wanted to get a new, uh, since the porcelain list got changed a little bit, I wanted to get a video out on it. Um, mm -hmm. Wasubi, thanks for recording with me, man. Um, what do we got coming from the website? Anything? Um, yeah, I think we're just continually upgrading the snapshot, to be honest, as the meta is settling down. And then uh, a couple of deck guides, I would assume, uh, when our content creators get uh, more in touch with the with the deck lists. Absolutely. And they can uh, they can start you know writing the guides. So I would say next week probably. Yeah. Not this week though. So. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. But uh, thanks guys for watching. We appreciate you, and we'll see you next time. Uh -huh.